Hi, I'm Kazor, and today I wanted to discuss the Dragonfly Alpha. Since Dragonfly has been confirmed to release this year, the community has been speculating when the Alpha would begin, because for any other expansion, it would have started already. I think I figured out when the Alpha will begin. Let's get into how I figured it out, and when you can expect to see Dragonflight for the first time. Before I get into everything, I just want to give credit to Marlamin on Twitter. He's the genius that I got all the information from, so go and check him out. Before an expansion's public alpha will begin, we expect to see three different things. The first thing that we expect to see are regular encrypted expansion builds. Then we'll expect to see changes to the WoW Beta Battle.net catalogue to support the new expansion's alpha. Then finally, we'll expect to see an unencrypted build of the alpha on the WoW Beta CDN. For Shadowlands, encrypted builds of 9.0 started appearing on February 19th, 2020. On Friday the 3rd of April, the Battle.net catalogue changes to support the Shadowlands Alpha were implemented, followed by an unencrypted 9.0 build on April 8th, and the Alpha beginning on April 9th. Comparing this timeline to Dragonflight, we've seen encrypted Dragonflight builds since April 22nd, and the Battle.net catalogue changes were made on Friday July 8th. If Blizzard keeps to the same pattern as they did with Shadowlands, then I would expect to see an unencrypted Dragonflight build on Wednesday July 13th, with the alpha beginning on Thursday July 14th. My prediction lines up with a supposed leak from Jez Corden, the editor of Windows Central, on Twitter. While this source seems reliable, I have no way to verify that it's a genuine leak, so take this with a grain of salt. So now that we have a pretty good idea of when the alpha will start, let's talk about what we're likely to see in the alpha when it begins. As I said in my last video, I expect that Dragonflight will come out in late November, which is approximately when Shadowlands released. Unless Blizzard is massively behind schedule, then I expect this alpha to be much more feature complete than previous alphas, and instead more comparable to a beta in terms of features, especially given the similarity of the release dates of the Dragonflight alpha compared to the Shadowlands beta. I might be being too optimistic here, but I expect that the Dragon Isles questing, including the Drakthir Evoker starting zone, will be complete and that we'll be able to level all the way to 70 from day 1 of the alpha. I also expect that all 8 dungeons will be available, at least on normal difficulty. Since the returning talent trees are the major feature of this expansion, I expect that the classes that haven't yet had their talent trees revealed will be disabled at the start of the alpha so that Blizzard can focus the testing on the talent trees that have already been made available. This will mean that only Death Knights, Druids, Hunters, Priests, and Rogues will be available, potentially with the addition of Evokers to test the starting zone. As for some more minor features of Dragonflight, I expect that we'll see the first iteration of Dragon Riding on the Alpha. Blizzard has said that they designed the Dragon Isles with Dragon Riding in mind, so in my opinion it makes sense for us to experience the landscapes on the Alpha with the Dragon Riding ability. I also expect that we'll see the improved professions on the Alpha, Blizzard posted an in-depth preview of the improvements to professions a few days ago, so I expect that this was to build hype for the alpha. And finally, I expect that we'll see the UI upgrade on the alpha. I imagine that Blizzard will want people to test all of the new UI features as soon as possible. So that's my prediction. The Dragonflight alpha will begin on July 14th. Make sure to subscribe to catch my coverage of the alpha as soon as it goes live. I'm only a small YouTuber, so it's unlikely that I'll get into the alpha in the first wave of invites, if at all, but I can't wait to see it and share my thoughts with you all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and let me know when you think the alpha will start and what it will contain in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at KazorYT, to keep up to date with the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.